Hi there. I've had some great feedback from some of you, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Since my last post, I've been exploring the concept of stickability, or um, one definition is the fantastic ability to stick at a task with a positive outcome or positive result. And here's what happened. <sighs> Today is one of those days that I am not interested in exercising or going for a walk or anything. Um, I'm really tired and it's freezing. It's like 11 degrees tops today. But I am committed to this new lifestyle. So uh, here I am walking in the freezing cold. Yay! <laughs> Beautiful day. I'm tired, but I'm walking. But things often get better. Heading home from my walk and I do feel better. So it was definitely worth it. After feeling really tired and unmotivated, but then still deciding to go for the walk yesterday, I felt um, so much better. And in the evening I had heaps of energy and today I am feeling good and strong and really happy with that choice. All right, so I had a win from pushing through and going for those walks uh, despite how I was feeling. But I can't take the credit for all of it. Um, I have two other th reasons that I went along and one of those is my children. Uh, we all need to go for a walk every day because if we don't, we don't get rid of our energy and uh, that's really one of the things that pushed me. The second part was um, having my, my workout gear, my clothing already organized. Um, I just found that it was really convenient. So, you know, preparing it the night before and then just being able to grab what I needed and get ready to go. I've been a little discouraged because um, my BMI has been going up and down the last few days, even though I've been sticking to my plan and trying to do the right thing each time. So I'm a little bit frustrated. Um, yeah, I can't figure out what, what I need to do. After being really upset uh, at the fluctuations of my BMI results, um, I had a conversation with my husband and he reminded me that this is not a day-to-day -day thing. This is not a temporary thing. This is a, a long-term goal. This is a you know, a yearly thing, if hopefully a lifestyle change and these little fluctuations are insignificant when it comes to the overall goal. And it was a really good way of looking at it, really great perspective check. So that was really helpful. For me, choosing to use the BMI as my monitor um, has actually really helped me uh, because I really struggled with my weight and what I would do is I would this is a while ago but I would weigh myself regularly and depending on what the result was um, it would affect my mood so if I had the weight that I really wanted to in kilograms or pounds I would be great for that day I'd have really good you know feelings about it and and feel energized and and really positive but if I wasn't at the weight that I expected or what I was hoping to be, it would be the opposite. And because my weight fluctuated quite often, it was this cycle of, of having negative emotions, you know, on a regular basis and then great emotions. And uh, when I had those days that I wasn't feeling like I was doing very well weight wise, I would make some pretty bad decisions in regards to, you know, constricting my eating or, or changing my behaviors around e eating. So I was very mindful of that this time with uh, this whole new way of living. So I decided that I would go with BMI instead of weight, you know, in regards to kilograms or pounds. The only thing was that I was still looking to see where my BMI was at. And obviously, you know, the clip that I showed before, it kind of drew attention to that obsession with, you know, tracking myself. 
So one thing that I'm doing now is an app that I can basically open the app and step on the scales and not even have to look at the results. And the app just lets me know when it's taken my results and then I close it. And it's a really small thing, but to me, it's a mental shift of not, um, not getting caught up in that, you know, ritual of stepping on and, and feeling low or stepping on and feeling great or, you know, it's actually breaking that cycle for me. And it gives an overall view of my BMI and where I'm going and how I'm tracking. So that has really helped me um, just break some, some bad habits. Since posting my last two videos, I've had some excellent feedback. Uh, one part of it has been about um, not increasing my goals too quickly, but trying to establish my routine um, and just with everything else in life, getting that right and then moving on later. The other part has been about remembering my value and worth and not getting too caught up in numbers. So thanks for the feedback. Also, we have something thrown into the mix. We are moving house. And so now becomes the big challenge of balancing kids and the move and sticking to this commitment that is my new lifestyle. I guess you'll see how that happens and how it all works out over the coming weeks. Thank you so much. See you next time.